Welcome to the Fixed Focus program. In this program, we want to go to home heating. Before doing so, I would first like to give an example to understand the power of solar energy. Suppose you are standing in the sun. Can you look at the sun with the naked eye? If you can do this, the sun must be at sunrise or on the horizon. And if the sun is in the middle of the sky, never do that. Now what projector should we turn on that is equivalent to sunlight? It should be noted that sunlight contains light and heat. Therefore, LED projectors cannot have the power of sunlight. This light must contain both heat and a lot of light. In fact if we want a square meter of land at night. Equivalent to the light and heat of the sun, what lamp should we use with what power? This lamp is different for different parts of the earth in the state of maximum radiation. And this radiation power varies from 500 watts to 7000 watts per square meter. And if the solar system is installed in a place, the output power of the system depends on the solar radiation power in that place. Unfortunately we are not able to yet to convert this solar power into electricity with a suitable interest. And we have to recourse at different solutions. It is good that your house can independently supply the energy it needs. The easiest way to supply electricity to homes is to use a solar panel. But the panel equipment is expensive and their output power is low. Replacing the batteries and cleaning the surface of the panels and the annual voltage drop of the panels and their recycling are other problems of the panel. To save money in the level used, it is better not to use panels for heating. For example, use a solar water heater to heat water. In this case, a solar water heater can be used next to the panels. But conventional solar water heaters on the market have an efficiency of 60 to 70 percent at best. And because they are motionless, their efficiency during the day is less than this amount. And their average return during the day compared to the area they occupy is a maximum of 35 percent. And the temperature of their tank water is between 40 and 90 degrees Celsius, depending on the place and time used. The main problem with solar water heaters is that their collectors freeze in winter. In future programs, we will examine more solar water heaters. But the cost of solar water heaters is another problem. This cost is only used to heat water. But what happens if we use a fixed focus solar system instead of a solar water heater? There is oil flowing in the fixed focus system and in its focus. This oil can have a temperature between 200 and 400 degrees Celsius during the day. If we direct hot oil from this system to the house. In addition to the water heater, we can activate the kitchen stove and home heater. And we will no longer worry about the oil freezing. The total cost of a fixed focus system is much lower than an even conventional solar water heater. And because the solar dish in this system is always in the direction of the sun, its efficiency is very high. The larger the plate of the solar dish, the higher its heat capacity. And with a 4 meter dish, the desired result can be achieved in most places. Just as our house has water plumbing, it can be equipped with oil plumbing. This piping is connected in parallel to the water heater, central heating and kitchen stove. An oil pump that works with a 20 watt panel is active in the presence of the sun. And in the absence of the sun it goes out. The automatic valve of the water heater oil pipe closed at the temperature setting point. And prevents further heating of water in the water heater tank. If the oil pipes of all home heating systems are closed. The oil in the focus of the dish has been drained to the required amount and the oil will no longer be in the focus. With the first use of one of the heating devices, the oil continues to rotate. This system will be very cheap and reliable. Therefore, the fixed focus system is a very good complement to solar panels.